Alicia, you had to make a clothespin doll. In particular, a Spanish doll. These are the things you'll need. First, you need a clothespin for your doll's body. I have two types here. Both are available in craft stores. This one is nice because it stands really easily, but I used this one so my doll could have pointed feet. You also need these wooden balls with holes in them. This is the package that they come in. As you can see, it says head bead. It actually says that. So they are actually made for going on clothespin dolls. See, they fit right over it. You will also need a pipe cleaner for your doll's arms, so it needs to be slightly skin color. You will also need some paint. You need four or six inches of ribbon for the top of the dress, or you can use paint. You need about six inches of lace for the skirt. A little bit more will make it a full skirt, then a little bit less will make it a not as full skirt. And then I have a red over layer right here, and it's going to be pretty. You will also need some small rubber bands for your dress if you don't want to use any sewing. You will also probably need some doll hair for your bun. You might need a bit of glue, or you can use hot glue. Putting on the he head is like this. If you're using this one, which is easy to balance, you just drop it on. If you are worried about it wobbling, because there's lots, a little bit of space, you can put on a little bit of glue. And for this one, you just jam it on. Now it's time to paint your face. Paint it any way you want to. Now it's time to make the yarns. I'm going to use my pipe cleaner and my scissors. I'm going to cut it in half. And I'm going to put a, a dab of hot glue or glue right where I want the yarns to be level with. I want them to be right there. And I'm going to put the center of this right where the dab of glue is. Trim the arms till they're a length you like. Make hands by just making a little loop at the end of the arm. Now we're going to use the ribbon to make the body. You're going to put a little bit of glue here. And then you're going to put the ribbon right here. And you're going to wrap it around in kind of a X-shaped pattern like this. And then you're going to put a little bit of glue here and glue it. There. Use paint to add shoes. Now you're going to make the skirt with a rubber band and a piece of lace. My piece of lace is too long, so either you can fold it over or trim it. Either way, you want a little bit to fold over. And then you're going to kind of wrap it loosely around the doll. Like this. And then take your rubber band and then kind of put it right where you want the waist to be, or where you think the waist is, and then kind of put it there, and then fold it over. Now you can adjust the skirt to make it fuller. You can add an overskirt the same way that you made the black skirt.
Now it's time to do the bun. I'm going to put my doll in this empty spice jar so that then I don't have to worry about her balance while I, I, I do her hair. I'm going to cut a little bit of hair, about this long is good, then fold it up, kind of into a bun shape, or however you want it to be shaped, and then put a little bit of glue where you want the bun to be. Then keep the hair folded and then put it on like this. And then any extra to the wisp you can cut off. She's done! I hope you liked making your doll!